let's quickly talk about uh, our moon mission that is uh, clearly relaxing up there in space. Uh, Chandrayaan-3, um, it's in the orbital parking is what I've learned and the next firing is going to take place on the 1st of August. Um, just to give the viewers a little bit of a Chandrayaan update, it's going to be, it's India's moon mission bid uh, to uh, become only the fourth nation on this planet to attempt, successfully attempt a soft landing on the moon, on the dark side of the moon, South Pole, another significant matter over there. It was India, Pankaj, and ISRO that had uh, discovered that water on the moon's surface, but NASA takes uh, most and major credit for it. Um, Chandrayaan-2 did not go as per plan, at least uh, the last and the final sector of it. This time around, everything going according to plan. We're ready for a slingshot and this insertion into the trans-lunar trajectory. Yes, uh, Kabir, uh, this is something uh, which is very critical. And uh, the word slingshot itself, uh, you know, tells what is going to happen with that uh, lander and rover. Uh, it is basically uh, coming out of uh, the Earth-bound maneuvers and is going straight away uh, towards the moon uh, in a lunar uh, transfer of the trajectory and it would be a moon-bound maneuver. So basically it is jumping from one axis to another if we can take a look at that and with the uh, reduced gravity by six times, one sixth is the gravity uh, that is experienced on the moon right. obviously uh, when uh, uh, this uh, Chandrayaan would be heading uh, into a different uh, uh, trajectory altogether, uh, the hmm. slingshot, that would be, uh, you know, uh, something which needs to be clearly, clearly monitored. And after that, once uh, Chandrayaan reaches uh, the moon I can only moon, imagine what it's going to look like, what the day is going to look like when we finally learn that, you know, it has successfully soft landed on the moon, on the lunar surface. It's going to be a festival-like scenario and vibe. It's going to be so electric. I mean, of course, the Prime Minister is going to come out um, and, you know, uh, congratulate uh, the Indian Space Research Organization and, uh, you know, several other ministers that are, uh, you know, related to the entire pro project and prospect. But the happiness, the pride oozing from our, the, you know, all Indian chests, that, that's going to be a spectacle to behold. Definitely, Kabir. 31st of July is Monday, okay? So, 31st of July, as the day would end at 12 o'clock at night, from there on till between midnight and 1 a.m. on 1st of August. The intervening night of 31st and 1st, 31st July and 1st of August is the time when uh, the translunar injection, TLI, as it is hmm. being called, uh, would happen. The next firing uh, essential for the mission and is scheduled for uh, 1st of uh, August. So that would be very critical. And yes, only after that, circling the moon in its orbit then, hmm. Uh, would uh, the lander and the rover what it did outside the earth there. it's going to do the opposite of that outside uh, you know the moon and then uh, when it's about uh, you know an oddly about 90 to 100 kilometers away uh, from mm -hmm. uh, you know the lunar surface it's going to attempt that soft landing fingers have certainly crossed but so far so good uh, india's moon mission our little baby up in the space it's doing absolutely fine and everything is going according to plan pankaj